Okay, so here we have a PDF file that uh, I just gathered some news from yesterday and put it in and converted it to PDF. So what we're gonna do now is try to extract information from this PDF uh, with our local lag. So we are now offline, right? So I'm just gonna go python pdf.py and let's upload this to our text file before we create embeddings from it. Okay, so this was appended to walt.txt, each chunk on a separate line. So let's take a look at it. So you can see this is the structure I want for my data. So we want, uh, I don't know how many, how big the chunks are, but we want them on separate lines because I found out that that works best. So if we go back to the terminal now and just close this, right? And then we run, let's say we run python local rag.py. Then we can start asking questions about our data or document. Created this embeddings here that we can now use as uh, if we do the search query. What did Joe Biden say? You can see uh, context pulled from documents. So we have these three chunks here. I set my top K to three. So we pulled three different chunks and all of this will have, you can see President Biden, uh, US President Biden and yeah probably Biden here too right and you can see Mr. All response Joe Biden spoke with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu yeah you can see uh, we get the answer here from Mistral so this is running on Ulama 100% locally if we go down here you can see I'm not online so yeah it's working great and the good thing is that it's very short it's only about 70 lines of code so this is all you need and yeah, it's been working great. So I'm going to show you today how you can set this up yourself and just go through the full tutorial. And it's going to be open on our um, GitHub repo so you can download it and try it out for yourself. Okay, so I'm just going to walk you through the steps you need to do to make this work. So just head over to ulama.com slash download and download Ulama for whatever OS you're using. Uh, today I'm using Windows. So I'm just going to click on Windows and install Ulama. Pretty straightforward. After you've done that, uh, yeah, head over to the terminal and just run the command ulama and pull, yeah, I'm gonna pull Mistral, you can pull whatever model you want here, okay? Uh, since I've already done this, it's 4.1 gigabytes, and yeah, that is pretty much it. You can check this now by doing ulama uh, run Mistral, I think, and yeah, that should be it, so send message, hello. And you can see Olama is running here now, so very easy to set up. Next step then is just going to be following the link in the description. You will come to my GitHub repo here and just follow the instructions here. So you can just start by cloning this repo. You can fork it too if you want to. So just go to your terminal. Let's just clone this and let's cd into this here, right? And then we're just going to install our dependencies. So pip install. Um, requirements.txt right I have these installed um, already and then we can just start if we have a PDF file we can just do python pdf.py right we can upload our PDF like this this has been appended right and let's just close that and again next part just gonna run local rag.py python local rag.py and we should be good to go here now. So hopefully we will see our embeddings. And yeah, we can ask, what did Joe Biden say, right? Yeah, we are pulling this and hopefully we will get an answer from Mistral now. Pretty good, yeah. So very easy setup. And of course, uh, I'm gonna go through some quick adjustments you can make. So you can know how to do that if you want to. So let's do that now. Okay, so let's say you wanted to upload a PDF with a paper. So more agents is all you need. Pretty big paper. And now we kind of want to do some adjustments. Uh, I want to bring in kind of the top five results instead of three, right? So I'm just going to change this top K here to five. Uh, you can also change this what down to one if you only want the best uh, or the results that matches the codes in similarity most with the user input, right? But let's put it to 5 now and let's head over to our terminal. Let's do python pdf.py and let's upload the agents paper now instead, right? Okay, so let's close that. And if we open here now, you can see this is a bit bigger. 
but it's the same format, right? And this mentions a lot of sampling and voting. So if we go here now and we ask, let's say, what does the paper say about sampling and voting, right? You can see we have our embeddings, so that's good. Uh, so let's say if I run this now, oh, you can see now we bring in like more chunks, two, three, or at least more. We bring in more information and you can see the paper introduces a method called sampling and voting for handling task queries using LLMs. And yeah, I think that's a pretty good answer. So uh, that's some adjustments you have to play around with yourself. You can also play around with trying to change how big these chunks can be. Uh, I'm not going to go into detail that in this simple setup, but that is something you can do yourself. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's kind of what I wanted to cover. And uh, I just found it neat that you can create a pretty okay offline rag system in so few lines of code. And I really found it helpful. It's lightweight, easy to use, quick and 100% local. But it's, of course, it's not perfect. <laughs> that was not the point either, but it's good enough for my use case, right? So maybe not use this at your company, but on your local PC, sure. So again, if you want to try this out, just head over to the repo. You can find it the link in the description. Would really appreciate it if you gave this project a star. If you want to try it out yourself, just share it with your friends if you want to. That's cool. And yeah, thank you for tuning in. Have a great day.